The Science and Technology Facilities Council, also known as SDFC, is keeping the UK at the absolute forefront of international science, tackling some of the most significant challenges facing the scientific community, the economy and on society. One of the many ways they are doing this is through machine learning, one of the most significant technological developments in recent history. Machine learning is steadily changing all aspects of life, from our day-to-day -day interactions to the entire digital world. But many of the applications of machine learning often go and see. A novel idea conceived by SDFC scientists tested whether a machine learning technique could be applied to a material science experiment, the first ever attempt to interpret inelastic neutron scattering data. Now, inelastic neutron scattering data measures the atomic and magnetic motions in a single crystal of a complex material. The aim of this particular experiment was to determine which of the two competing models with different magnetic motions in the material was the correct one to choose. However, collecting and analysing the experimental data could usually take up to three years to interpret. So this new novel idea was to use the popular machine learning technique called convolutional neural networks, known as CNNs. And these produced the same interpreted results in just a matter of days compared to the three years all the while still retaining the same reliable results. So how do these CNNs work? Well, just like our brains can distinguish between objects just by looking at them, CNNs allow the computer to do exactly the same thing. When we humans first look at an object, we don't take in the whole um, object at once. What we do take in is certain features that allow us to decide what, what the object is. For example, if we look at one cat and one dog, we can certainly tell the difference instantly. But how do we distinguish between them? They both have similar features. Would they have one tail, four legs, two ears? Well, as we have developed from birth, we have learned to identify these features that allow us to distinguish between these two things instantly. And that's how we distinguish between every object all around us. And that's exactly what these CNNs have also been learning themselves. But instead of distinguishing between cats and dogs, it's two, these two competing models with differing magnetic motions. As a result, instead of taking up to three years for the material scientists to go from their lab to their published final paper, they can just do it in a couple of months. The next steps are to develop the machine learning technique even further, so it can be applied to a range of experiments, not just those in material science. And then it can become an important tool in any scientist's analysis toolbox, benefiting the entire scientific community. Thank you.